is going on everybody welcome back to the channel so we are here with our boy red day and our boy jimmy and uh we're gonna be having a little bit of fun it's halloween's right around the corner so we all pulled out our uh, favorite costumes and we thought you know what's better than to get out on the water and try to catch some fish in them so you got banana ryan you got that uh hot dog red day and jimmy the pirate and jimmy the pirate over here so uh, we all got our yaks we just pulled up to the pond we're gonna get out there right now and have some fun guys so hopefully you enjoy just outside these veg lines with the chatterbait see if we can't find a couple fish I can see a few little uh, grass patches out in the open water's fairly clear I'm gonna change up from chatter and go swim jig. So I'm gonna put on an exopod. So this will allow me to have um, a moving bait and kind of a pitching bait. And it just looks really, really good. Look at that. So exopod it is. Something's on it. There we go. First one. There you go, guys. Number one. I literally just swapped out, put on the Grass Hero uh, with the Exopod. And uh, the first cast with that bad boy, it paid off. So, fish number one. Not a big one, but a good one, man. It's always fun just getting out here, getting early out here and uh, catching these fish. and. I was the first to get one in the banana outfit, so yeah. All right, guys, we are on our first fish of the morning. It is still like 8.20, so a good little start in the banana outfit. I'm the first one to pull it out. Uh, let me show you guys actually what we got them on real quick. Swapped out, put on the Grass Hero with the uh, Exopod, but it's that orange brownish color, uh, Alabama craw is what they call it, but uh, they might as well call it Texas craw because this is very similar to what the craws look like here. And uh, that's just kind of what I was trying to do, just pitch it and just see if uh, I could get a bite. And honestly, as soon as I you know, swapped out the, the trailer, pitched it out there the first time, I got ourselves a little fish. It wasn't a big one, but it's a good one, healthy one. It was a fun one. And we got one in the banana outfit, so let's get him back in the water. Good little first one. And I kind of waited to set the hook because these have the uh, little grass skirts or guards in front of it. And I'm afraid, you know, sometimes that they won't have it all the way in their mouth. So I usually make sure I wait an extra second or two, see the line start moving away before I set the hook uh, when I'm working these jigs. So first one, the grass hero, slight little cast like that, didn't even move it. I literally just tossed it and set. So do that a few times again and see what happens. Even though you're out here, the location where they've never seen the moving baits, sometimes it'll scare the fish. So we got to find something that's a good in between um, where the fish aren't afraid of it and it looks like a natural bait, but at the same time it can attract the fish. Oh yeah. Number two. You get anything yet, pirate? Oh, there we go. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Jimmy's trying to steal my fish. <laughs> All right, guys, that's fish number three for me. And this is definitely the biggest one so far. Just pitching into these grass patches and kind of just popping it, slowly working it as you normally would a jig, just kind of letting the elevation uh, up and down kind of attract the fish. Catch him. Uh, they've all been, all of them for me have been right up against the structure. And, oh, oh, got a hit. Oh, 
pulling them out, man, on the swim jig today. That is number four for me, bro. Can't stop, won't stop. 30 minutes, I already have five fish. Oh, a good one. Yeah, that's the best one of the day. The best one so far. It's probably gotta be at least a one pounder. They are just chowing down on this swim jig, like no joke. This is like the best, best day I could have ever imagined being in a banana costume. That's one. There we go. <laughs> Broke his neck, but I got one. Fish number seven, guys. Nothing fancy about that one. So like the technique that I'm talking about with a, a jig is just let it sit there, pop it, reel in your slack you kind of want it to have a little bit of slack so that way it draws back down because what it does is it just brings it up and down poppy motion poppy motion and uh, usually work them from the outside in or from the inside out if you're working them you know from the shore this way you need to leave a little bit more slack in your line if you're working them from the shore outwards towards the boats that's when you're going to go ahead and try to keep the slack a little bit tighter uh, make sure you feel for that sensitive touch because these fish are either going to hit it real hard or they're just going to pick it up and take off with it um, they're going to think it's like a bluegill or something leaving these grass lines or a bluegill coming into the grass lines and they want to either strike it before it gets there or they see it you know as they're they're leaving the grass lines as well so that's a good one that's a good one yeah no he came off right at the end dude that was a tank all right guys i just lost like an absolute tank never even showed itself but my pole was pulling completely under the kayak and that's probably at least five to ten pounds of pressure oh yeah me too under the dock yep doubled up under the dock There we go. That was a tank. I'm gonna swap out to my other pole though because I don't like this. Like leverage is so key when it comes to fishing, especially from like a kayak where you don't have balance already. All right guys, so I am putting my uh, setup that I've been killing them on my heavier action pole i've already lost two pretty nice fish and i think it's due to the uh lack of uh leverage oops the lack of leverage that i have from actually having this uh longer handle in my side uh and also it's a heavier action so there's going to be a lot less bending in the rod and hopefully that'll help me um you know corral these fish in on this kayak this is my my newer kayak so i don't have a rudder in it yet and it's definitely made things uh, a little bit harder than normal but hey it is what it is that's why they call it fishing I'm down the two biggest ones of the day, but you know, that's why I'm swapping out. You gotta adjust. There we go. I can't tell. Yeah. All right, guys, we got a good one finally after losing uh, two back to back. It's a nice good one. Oh damn, a bass went for it. And I'm on a tree at the same time. As soon as it hit the water, bro, didn't even hesitate. There we go, guys, another nice one. Just pop them back in. So we got these sticks that are kind of sitting out in the middle of the water. Uh, and it may not be anything like a lay down, but just like I said, if you have vertical structures, these fish right now are hugging up against them and uh, either attacking bait or trying to warm up. Different techniques. It is 
cooler. This morning it was 66 degrees when we got here. Fog was kind of crazy, so you have to find out how they're adjusting. There's no promises that they're over here, but all my other fish have been next to vertical structure, so. Oh yeah, didn't even know he was hooked. It's another pretty one, dark one. And uh, once again, like I said, vertical structure, that's what we're tossing, looking for these cattails uh, that are still in the water further away from these other ones because this that's where these fish are going to be hugging up against um like i said man that's that's where they're at so i'm just going to keep getting at it i was recording guys but we got ourselves a nice little one oh yeah the bite is not even close to where it was or since that one fish that i had and that one fish that i had was uh pretty well hit it up Oh, I got a fish. I got a fish. I got a fish. I got... Yeah, it's a big one too. <laughs> I just handlined this tank. My line got all tangled up with my eyelid, so I had to handline this thing. <laughs> it was just sitting there. And he came back and picked it up. There we go. Another nice one, guys. That is probably another two pounds, three pounds. Nah, two pounds. I'm not gonna push it. He's got a fat belly, a really fat belly. He smells horrible, though. He smells like he's smells like bait fish or something like that. So let's get him back in the water. That is hilarious, guys. Got that one literally while I was trying to fix uh, some tangles around my little eyelets. I felt like a tug on the line. I was like, uh oh. Let me go ahead and uh, pull back real quick. I just handlined him kind of and uh, pulled that guy up. Not too bad, not too shabby. Tank, you lost your HUD? Huh? My HUD gone. He's right there. First cast on Jimmy's $30 lure. He just lost it, man. It broke off. Dude. That fish just flopped out in the water too. Dude, that's insane. He even flopped out right there, right underneath you. That's where he was. Look around. All right, guys, that is gonna be it for today. It was an amazing day on the water with Jimmy and Red Day. Uh, we all got to have a little bit of fun dressing up for Halloween. We killed him. I can't even, can't even remember how many we caught. How many did you catch? Uh, like 28. There you go. How many did you catch? Like five. <laughs> five. Man, solid. Got a huge one. Jimmy lost a huge one yeah. and his HUD, which is a $30 lure. Very unfortunate, but we know the fish are here at this location, so we'll definitely be back. It's our first time here, and uh, we kind of made a fool of ourselves, but we kicked the fish's ass. So uh, we'll definitely be back for it, guys. If you enjoyed, go ahead, uh, leave me a like. Go ahead, sub to the channel. Make sure you check out these guys' channels as well. I'm going to leave it below in the description. But that's going to be it for today. We'll see you guys next time. Peace. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween.